kind of in the same vein that you were talking about having to retrain people that grew accustomed to certain apps that are already out there. I think one of the big challenges with a new piece of technology like this, like the AI prediction stuff is like, how do you apply that practically to the woods? Mm -hmm. And I think there was kind of a learning curve there for all of us of like, okay, we have this very specific accurate data, but how do we abandon that intuition and that those instincts that we've like learned over these years of just experience and kind of bringing in all these variables that we're observing? How do we, how do we uh, meld that with the prediction tool? We had a couple instances this year where he's able to kind of apply that and it really proved like how well that prediction data worked. It's interesting hearing you guys talk because I have no idea what you're talking about. You guys are just on like a whole different wavelength as far as intellect goes. And so like, I've always been a little more simple minded, which is good sometimes. But I think that like, kind of like Drew said, like we've been accustomed to a certain style of hunting for a long time. And it's like, we were kind of presented this new thing it's this new information is it useful is it not is it accurate is it not and i've sort of always been a skeptic i know that you guys now down the road like are brilliant and what you've created works but if you take it back two years ago i've got this new information and i'm like it's time to kind of field test this thing and when it's when it's kind of something new like i I tend to go at it through a skeptical lens of like let's let's prove this thing let's find out if it's real or not and I remember the first year using it and, and specific to the, the Intel tab, the predictions on your core areas, your transition areas and your full range predictions, specific to like the deer prediction side. Uh, that was the main thing that I was like, all right, let's, let's really dig into this and figure it out. And, I, and the, the first year we did it, I actually was in the middle of hunting a deer that I had several years of history with. So I was familiar with his core area, his transition area and his full range area. So I've got couple years of history under my belt of knowing where this deer summers where he starts to kind of break that pattern start to kind of open his his range a little bit hitting some scrapes checking some doe pockets and things like that and then I know where his full range is where he's just rutting checking all these does and everything so I kind of in my head had an idea of of just this deer and that that only comes with history Um, so coming into like the third year of of history on this deer um, and this is my first year testing the, the intel. I'm matching up with what I'm seeing. Core area, is he in his core area? And what I found was that when he started to break, so the core area predictions were true in the summertime, but when it really, and I think this is when it gets deadly and when it, when it gets super useful, is when these deer start to break from their core area. It was like the first transition area day, boom, I saw him on these kind of wider spread cameras. So I was like, okay, like there's something here. Basically the day that I killed this deer, I'm like sitting there and I'm like deciding, all right, which stand do I go to? And I pulled up and it was like core area. Okay, let's go to the core area stand. Place where I've been seeing him in the summertime. I I haven't really been seeing him there that much. He's been showing up more on these other cameras. But I followed the prediction of a core area and I went and sat the stand that I was not going to normally was not planning on sitting, but because the model told me to sit core area, I ended up killing that deer that evening because he was back in his core area. And that was the first time that I'd killed a deer actually using that model. And I was like, all right, you know, I'm a believer in this thing. Like what you guys built from the data side is starting to really prove itself in the field side. Mm